Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you have been here before. In today's video, we are going to be watching my 5,000 simoleon house build challenge. Honestly, don't expect much. I tried. I really tried. 5,000 simoleons is really not a lot. Anyway, let's just get straight to it. You can already see anyway, but as a pre-warning, it is going to be a very, very quick video because honestly, I wasted so much money on things that I didn't need. Could have made the build a lot smaller and added a lot more things inside of it, but I didn't. So this is what we went with. Uh, Shape-wise, I kind of went for a sort of original base game uh, shape, like an L shape. Um, I suppose a lot of the houses are that kind of shape, just really boxy. I really have a thing for trying my best not to make houses boxy, but at the moment it's just kind of happening, so we're rolling with it. Here I'm just putting some really cheap, as cheap as possible, uh, doors and windows in. I didn't want to keep going for the same doors and windows that I always do, so I am trying to mix it up a little bit. Although, to be fair, I don't have very many videos on YouTube, so, you know, you don't know that yet. Uh, with wallpapers around the outside again I was looking for everything as cheap as possible um, I did spoiler alert end up changing it at the end because I kind of oh, it's just so boring isn't it just because it's cheap doesn't mean it has to be boring I did find this really nice eco lifestyle eco lifestyle eco living um, wallpaper to use is it would it be counted as wallpaper probably not just wall paint anyway eco living lifestyle uh, wallpaper to use on the outside and i really liked it i would paint my house that color for sure roof style same as usual um just average i'm so glad they're free too you don't have to pay for those i was so sad building this kitchen because everything in here is so crusty rusty and old it is a, it is a sad moment Again, here I was looking for the cheapest options, however I wasn't going completely cheap because I think it is important still that your sim has comfort, otherwise they'll be really grouchy and unhappy. You can see the money is just flying down. We have the basics though, we have a kitchen, we have a bathroom, we have a sleeping area. Um, I ended up getting rid of that door because it was a waste of 50 simoleons and do you really need a back garden door if you don't even have a fence around your house? <laughs> just go out the front door like... I hate this sofa, it's... Ah, oh, to be fair, all I, I really only say what I hate about these videos. I never really say what I like about them. I do like that bedside table that I put in there. I also added this, um, is it parenthood pack? Um, little table thing, because I like that and it's different and I don't ever use that, so I was like, yeah, I'll use it. I didn't forget lights this time. It looks like a just doesn't I did forget lights this time so that's good um I went for carpet in the living room for some reason it's not it's it I don't use it usually so I was like okay we'll use it this time this was supposed to be the end of the build I was looking for um some exterior um decorations I ended up going with some flowers to begin with and I was like pretty very nice and then I realized how ridiculously expensive they are so I just ended up putting a nice tree down and then that was going to be the end of the build I only have four simoleons left so naturally I was going through looking for as much as I can I did realize I didn't have a bin so I ended up using the only free bin that there is honestly you don't know how that would work in real life but we won't even talk about that and here was where I was looking at the outside of the house and just thinking, oh my god, this is the most boring house ever. No one's going to want to use this house as like a base game house. It's cheap though. It is very cheap. Would recommend using it. But don't you just love this wallpaper? This uh, paint? I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I just was living for it. At this point now, you can see we've now flicked back and we are looking at debug items. I had the idea that, okay, like I can't spend any more simoleons, it has to be 5,000. However, debug items are free, so we could take full advantage. Spoiler alert though, there really isn't anything very nice, not really worth putting into the house. So I did find a couple of flowers um, and things. I was thinking of putting these uh, pumpkins down but that wasn't gonna happen because how weird also those pictures don't have any pictures on it's supposed to be a photograph I suppose they fill it in after your sim graduates or takes a photo but it's weird that it doesn't just have like a I don't know like a 
random picture in. We have these nice fish on the wall. Honestly, I would never go for this in my own house, but decorations, you know, I didn't want it to look completely boring. Um, these are the only decent flowers that you can get for free. Everything else is just crazy shapes. I like them though, they are nice. I think I ended up using those twice. Like those, um, what is it, Strangerville? The Strangerville pack? Those flowers from there, like, no, uh, I'm not gonna use those. I did just end up clicking through a load of random things. I ended up finding the um, candles for eco lifestyle, eco living. I'm gonna have to cut out whatever that actually is. Um, there they are. I ended up finding the candles and I was really happy that I did find them because they just added a little bit of summit that wasn't there. So nice. There are so many things on Debug. If you haven't already checked it out, you really should because it's so fun to play with. If you really want a really, really detailed build, Debug is where it's at. You make everything look more realistic. In the end, I wasn't completely hating the whole 5,000 simoleon house. I think it is okay. It's not great, but really, if you only have 5,000 simoleons to build your entire house and furnish it, it, the little details aren't even worth worrying about. I do love that watering can. It's cute. I think I've added it in a few of my builds now. Definitely in the barn build. And then we added these flowers again, just to add a little bit of something else to the outside of the house. It just looks so boring and plain. I have added this to my library too, if you wanted to go and check it out. It is a really, really nice cheap house to start off with. Um, it isn't all base game though, I really probably should have made it all completely base game. Here you go, final look at the house, whoop whoop, all done. Thank you for watching my video, I know it was a super quick one and it wasn't the most intricate build in the world, but it was really, really fun to do. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and you can subscribe if you want to see more. If not, don't worry about it. Comment down below any video ideas that you might think of. Uh, if you liked the video or if you hated it, you can comment too. That's fine. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you the next one. Bye. <laughs>